but we'll just do that to keep it simple here. So we'll just do redistribute OSPF process one metric and then all ones. So once we do that here on router three, if we do a show IP route, as you can see now, we can see the OSPF learned routes and also we can see from the hidden process going on with redistribution we can see this network here that is being advertised also from OSPF into EIGRP and again if we look at the route the routing table on router 2 you know we don't see this route as being an OSPF learned route. We only see three OSPF learned routes. However, on router three, we see four routes that are coming in from redistribution from OSPF into EIGRP. We see this, this network here, specifically the 12 network, we see as a connected network on router two. And again, the reason why this network is coming in to the EIGRP domain as an OSPF learned route is because there is a process going on in the background of redistribution that is redistributing the networks that are running OSPF or that OSPF is running on. So if I do a show IP protocol on router 2, if we look at OSPF within our network statement, we specified the 12 network. And so what is going on here when we redistribute OSPF into EIGRP, what is also being redistributed besides the OSPF learn routes within the router is the connected interface here specified in our OSPF network statement. And this is very critical to understand within redistribution because if you don't understand this key principle, then you can run into a lot of problems. And trust me, on your tests and you know even in a real life situation, you know you'll get tripped up on this, uh, and you'll have no idea what's going on. So it's very important to realize this concept here. And I'm going to show you how this concept, if we bring in, you know, these networks f into R2, you know, into these routing protocols, what, how, you know, we can break these, uh, how we can break our network. So from router 3's perspective now, if I try to ping router, router 1's um, OSPF learned routes, you know, we can ping just fine now. Now on router one, if I go ahead and try to ping, we have reachability. So say you want to do this though, say you have another requirement and that is to bring in these these loopbacks here on to router two. So in this case what we're gonna do on router two we're going to bring in the 11 network into OSPF. However, you can't bring this in using the network statement. So what we can do, one way we can do this is by creating a route map and by matching the interface and then tying in the route map into uh, redistribution. And we'll do this and I'll show you how to do this. So we can create a route map called you know, connected into OSPF. And what we can do here is we can specify, what you can see is we can specify a match based on interface. And then we'll do a interface here of 11. So we're going to bring in loopback 11 or the 11 network into OSPF. And before I do this, let's see, show IP interface brief. 
Okay, I have a 22 and a 33 network here. Let's go ahead and do a no interface loopback 22. And we'll go ahead and do interface loopback 11. Give it the IP address of 11. All 11s. And that is why under our route map we weren't able to do that. So let's go ahead and go back into our route map and we'll do a, a match here on the interface of loopback 11. Okay, so now that we have our route map created and that we're matching on loopback 11, what we'll do is now what we need to do to bring this network into our OSPF domain, we will go ahead and go into OSPF and we will do a redistribute connected command and what this is going to do is going to redistribute our all of our connected routes into OSPF and what we're doing here is we can specify a route map in this case we create the route map connected into OSPF and then we don't want to forget to bring in the subnets command. So what this command is doing is it's calling on this route map connected in the OSPF. And whatever matches this, what's in this route map connected in OSPF is going to be redistributed into OSPF. Because if we were just going to do a redistribute connected subnets, that's going to redistribute all the connected interface on the router into OSPF. However, if we reference a route map, and then within the route map, we're just matching this loopback, uh, loopback 11 interface, it's just going to bring in loopback 11. So let's go ahead on R1. If we do a show IP route now, now what we can see here is that we are still seeing the external the OSPF external networks and we are 